Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Mitch, or Mitch Canadian here, and welcome back to the craziest of crafts. It's now the weekend once again. It is Saturday, and it is great to be back here on the Crazy Craft server. I've got some big plans for this episode. We left off yesterday trying to find these pesky hand pedestals, and I managed to scrounge up exactly two more. And I, honestly, I tried to find even more, because at that stage, I sort of thought to myself, Huh, with this world border, oh no, I did not want to fall off. With this world border, sorry, there's uh, for sure a very limited supply of these available. So I was gonna try and find literally every other available hand pedestal. That way if other people wanted them, they'd have to be forced into trading with me. Cause you can't, you can't craft these. They're uncraftable. I don't think you can, you can't craft the shadow ones either. That's actually really cool, the shadow ones. But uh, you, you can't, so the only way to get them is to find them naturally spawn. So I thought I would grab them all and then force people into having to uh, <laughs> trade with me. But I could only find two more, and I didn't see any of the shadow hands. I'm wondering if there's another realm where there are a lot more of these and they're more plentiful. I don't know, but what I do know is I have them, and I am quite happy to have them. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw some rubies on them all. That one's there, it looks good. And then in the final corner here, I'm gonna have to uh, chop that up and move those over with my armor stands that I'll set up shortly here on that floor too. And uh, before we go any further, let's also take a look at our inventory. We need this, obviously. And store some of our valuables down here. Um, and then let's go ahead, Ooh, Mobzilla and Cow, whatever these spawn eggs are. And let's go ahead and open our double chest. I stored some of my things in here. Here's our squid pet that we got at the last second of the last episode. Really, really clutch, awesome moment, Mantis. All of this stuff. So let's go to our inventory pets. Drop our beautiful squid off, and I will bring him. Uh, I will put him here. I'll put the double chest down, and uh, actually I'll switch it like that. I like that. And I will put my Enderman. He's been doubled up. So actually, what I can now do with my Enderman and one of these double chests, since I I'm not going on any grand adventures right now. So where did I put my label blocks? Um, labelers, labelers, label, label. <laughs> Uh, where are you? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna throw one of those labels up on here. It is beautiful. Let's grab one of these and we shall slap a label, right? Oh, that looks really bad. That is not what I want to do. Um, hmm. I guess it's time to break one of these signs. We'll go ahead and break this one, and we'll throw a label on here, and we shall also have to break this sign, and we'll re-put it down and call this one inventory pets all in one shoot. There we go, and inventory pets, perfect. And let's go ahead and I need an empty hand, so let's right click that, shift right click, and we'll throw the Enderman in, and we'll throw uh, a double chest on there, and we'll spread them out. Beautiful, inventory pets, that looks fresh, and they still are animated on there, which is cool. The Enderman's blinking, double chest isn't doing a whole lot, but that is pretty exciting, and I don't think, I think they're both empty, I hope. Actually, let me double check. Let me make sure this chest is empty too. Um, yep, empty, good. So I'm not losing any resources by doing this. Throw that on there, and for the final, what about what about an egg, how does that look? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that, it looks kind of weird. Um, but we'll put our chicken away, we don't need our chicken right now, and some seeds to feed him. Uh, let's, grab, let's grab the egg out of that, and we'll put, what would be cool to put with the inventory pets? I don't think, I don't, I'm just gonna leave it as two of them for now, that's my little sticker for the inventory pets. I like that, I like that a lot. Um, and now I need to take my ultimate ax and chop up upstairs my uh, my stuff there. I don't need any of this stuff. I'll keep the sword with me. And I don't need, don't need that. My items no longer need to feast, so I can store that. I only need one more, one more ruby, so I can put those away. And uh, what else do I need? I need my stone and I need some iron. Where's my iron at? Where the iron at? <laughs> oh, the irony. Oh man, so lame. I have so many good resources, but literally iron is my biggest struggle. I see seven here. I'd like more than that. Ah, there we go, 21 more, perfect. And let's go ahead and craft ourselves some, whoops, some slabs and turn these slabs into some armor stands. Let's grab, I guess we'll grab all 14 then. Don't have a lot of say in that matter. <laughs> and let's head on up and bust up this chest. One, two, it's all ours. Put the final pedestal down. It is going to look fresh with that ruby. Here's this little room now. I like the way this looks. I'm gonna grab my armor stands and let's throw them down like so. 
and like so. And I think I'd like to decorate, uh, I'm gonna do diamond and gold on this side. Whoops, that is not what I want. Um, there we go. We'll do gold, not what I want. I'll take my helmet back, thank you. And I will do diamond. So you got diamond and gold on this side, that looks awesome. And then over here on this side, I'm gonna do the red and green. This is, this is beautiful. All right, so we'll do green and red. Perfect. So this is a really cool chamber when you come down here. Now this is decked out. You've got the hands right here in the corners looking really weird, but a good kind of weird. And then you've got our armor stands decked out. I, I'm really liking the way this is turning out. This room looks perfect. So uh, the only other things I can do is, let's see, are there any weapon racks or something? Um, Hmm, what's this called? Dreamweaver, nope, it's not what I'm looking for. Let's see, uh, sword, are there sword holders? Sword pedestal, there are. So how do I make these? I need white wool. Oh, it's just the trim, the trim's just the wool. All right, cool. Well, I just need stone and wool, which I have, and I'll store some weapons on these other areas. This is gonna look great. All right, let's do that. Let's go down here and make some sword pedestals with our extra stone, which we have plenty of. And we need wool, which is right. Nope, that's quarried stone. Wool, where art thou? 16 wool. And now I can do something with my extra swords. Perfect. So I need, how do you do this? It was, I think it was like this. Yeah, so we're going to need, I'm just going to make a bunch. I'll make 10. Perfect, 10. And let's go ahead and grab some mysteries. Actually, I wonder, I wonder on this. Can it store anything or only swords? Only swords, but that's, that's gonna look so hype. Oh my gosh. All right, let's grab this sword. Uh, I wonder if I can store a mantis claw. I'll grab that anyways. So I need, I need to get a bunch of swords. Um, I should make a diamond sword, a ruby sword, an emerald sword. I have the amethyst sword already. Uh, a lapis sword, I hope, oh wait, no, I'm gonna need to turn, oh, I don't have enough, there's no way. I wonder if there's an obsidian sword. Um, all right, well, let's start with that. Oh, I need sticks. Let me get some sticks and continue our decorating. It's gonna look so nice in there. All right, there we go. And tons of sticks now. Let's go ahead and diamond, emerald, ruby. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Obsidian. Oh, that's not how you make the obsidian sword. Let's see, is there an obsidian sword anyways? What's this? Dark matter sword, that looks hype. Soul sword, solium and iron, steel. Um, what else would look cool? Do I have a tiger's eye sword? I wonder. Fairy sword, I don't have the supplies. A rat sword, I don't have the supplies. Poison sword, experience sword, can't make that. Um, ultimate sword, I could do. Nightmare sword, I don't have the supplies. Candy sword. Hardened Sweet Essence. I don't have that. Dark Matter, Proto Matter, don't know how to get that. Um, silver Sword, that looks actually really cool. Silver Deposits though, I don't have that. Cane Sword, uh, weird. Soul Sword, I don't have. Okay, well, I think I will have to settle for making a Gold Sword and perhaps an Iron Sword. So let's do that. Let's see, Gold and Iron. Uh, let's grab our Gold. And I'm surprised there's no obsidian sword. Oh well. And let's turn these back into the little nuggets so that we take up less space. We're gonna need that. And we're gonna need to, do we have more iron on us or did I use it all? There's no way I used all of the iron. If there was a shadow sword, imagine. And let's grab these nuggets out. There's no point in having them in here. Um, hmm. I don't actually need to convert that. I'll grab that, I'll grab those. I'm just trying to reorganize a bit as I go here too. So it's not an overwhelming task when I go to do it later on. But where's my, I've gotta have more iron, there's no way. There's no way I just used all my iron. Did I really do that? Am I really that dumb? I have a feeling I did. Man, I'll make another ultimate sword then. But I don't have iron, so I can't. Ah, the struggle. Well, let's start with the gold one at least. Gold has been crafted. Um. Ooh, silver nugget. Wait, these are these are iron nuggets. Why are they different? It's so weird. Um, 
That's one, two, three, four, five, six if I put the ultimate sword in. Oh man. All right, well let's store all this stuff. I don't need it, so I'll put my valuables away. Tiger's eye armor, I will go ahead and throw you in here for the moment. I don't have a tiger's eye sword, unfortunately. And I don't think I have any other iron. This is all my chests, this is all my supplies. So if I can't see any iron, it means I don't have it. Dang, I can make a stone sword, I guess. That's kind of lame. Oh well, stone it is. I have another shadow ingot. You know, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see this real quick. So I have a shadow ingot somewhere around here. There it is. I wonder if there's a shadow sword. How how cool would this be? Oi! No, no shadow sword, unfortunately. Uh, Alright, well we'll make the stone sword. And we will call that a day. We're gonna head upstairs, place our swords in. And things will look beautiful. Alright, so on this side we will do the inverse. So we'll go gold, diamond. That looks epic. And then same thing over here. So we'll go ruby, emerald, and I still have more swords here. I've got two more. So how do I want to do these last? You know what? I'm going to need more because I want to do the corners as well. So we'll do um, amethyst and stone, and I need two more stone. I need two more swords. So I really need, oh boy, I, I'm missing some stuff. So I need two more swords still. I could throw my ultimate sword in, but I'm gonna need, you know what, fine. Ultimate sword, you look beautiful there. And I will make a wood sword, I will, I will go plebeian levels. That's fine, I'm a total pleb on us. No, no regret. Actually, well, let's see if the Mantis Claw works first, but I'll, I'll, I'm gonna doubt that it works, and I will make the pleb level sword first anyways. Uh, where's my wood? Building supplies, here we go. Two of those. And we'll get our pleb status sword as backup so I don't have to come back downstairs. And let's see, Mantis Claw, work! It do oh, it does work! Hype! Alright, we got a man- <laughs> This is beautiful. I like this room. This room is perfect. This room is absolutely perfect. Alright, well, job well done on decorating this. I need a new ultimate sword. Um, and I'm out of sword stands, which is good. So this room looks hype. This looks so hype in there. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and store... Uh, this stuff, sort of miscellaneous, I don't need them anymore. My armor stands and my uh, sword pedestals. Put those bad boys away and head over to building supply territory and drop these off. And I've got wool and things that I don't need. I'll just throw these in here for now. And I think next on the list, I do need to get iron, unfortunately. I need a lot more iron. Um, not gonna need that sword. So I'm gonna get my portal gun ready. This is the blue portal here. So I can put the orange one where I want it. And I'm gonna need uh, like I said, a ton more iron. I'm gonna have to go mining right now, which is a real shame. It's kind of kind of boring, but it's gotta happen because I need to get critter cages and I'm gonna need wood with me so I can get more sticks and stuff. And I will bring some torches for a change. There we go. And let's grab some food out of our food supplies. Some lovely pork chops, building supplies. Do I need any of this? Let me think, I've got enough wood. I will grab a little more just in case, you never know. And what else? Don't need any of that. Inventory pets, chicken. Come hither and double chest. Wait, where's my other double chest? I stored it somewhere, didn't I? There it is, come hither. All right, supplies are looking fresh. We need to go mine iron so we can make critter cages and I'm gonna need fences. And let's just quickly review how we make a fence and it is in fact just sticks. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some more fences. I don't even know if I have many, many left upstairs or not, but by the end of this, I will have a lot of fences. More than enough. 26, hopefully we'll cover it. And there we go, we'll make it 30. 30 fences will hopefully be enough. Um, actually, I'm gonna need 40, I guess 10 by, no, I don't wanna do that. 10 by 10 by 10, that would make sense, wouldn't it? All right. Come on, stop, stop being such a jerk. Give me my fences. And why do I keep doing that? Some more sticks, and there we go, 40. There we go, now I can do 10 in every direction. Should work, there we are. And time for us to go mining, and I need iron so I can make more ultimate gear, um, as well as, quite quite obviously, what am I gonna need? I also, it was me a long drop, I should have brought, bring the spider or something, what reduces fall damage? Let's see, pet. 
I think it's the sheep. It's the sheep. I, I already know. But what does the sheep eat? Sheep eats wheat. And it slows my fall. Let's give the sheep a try. That's what's nice about having these inventory pets is we get to we get to test them all out. Inventory. And I have wheat here. Grab some of that so he can eat up. And let's drop down. Whoa. There we go. It's supposed to slow. If I die, I'm going to be really salty. Where's the fall damage? I didn't take any fall damage. I guess that's the sheep. It didn't slow my fall. That felt like I was moving pretty quick. <laughs> okay. I'm alive. Woo! Hot and spicy, if I say so myself. We got obsidian here. Oh, lapis. We actually really need that so we can get lapis armor and stuff. Uh, I wish I had a water bucket, but that's okay. Um, I will do it the old-fashioned way. Actually, I could use this obsidian, so... In fact... Where's my portal gun? There it is. Let's let's do this. Let's throw an orange portal down at the end of this hallway. Go up, grab a water bucket, and then we'll head back down. Water. Water supplies. I have lots of empty buckets. Where's my water bucket? I know I have it here somewhere. Ugh, oh, I gotta organize this. This is a nightmare. Water! Maybe I don't. I gotta go upstairs. And I, I destroyed my infinite water source when I was building and I forgot to put it back so this is annoying um, well let's go grab some water really quick and then we can get back oh, I just love this room now though it looks so cool anyone who comes to my place and goes downstairs is gonna love it they're gonna drool oh they're gonna drool I would drool over it absolutely and let's do this grab some water I'll make a new infinite water source at my base just cuz oh beautiful and I'm not sure if you saw that out of the corner of your eye but that hand pedestal is actually outside of the world border. It was trolling me so hard between episodes. Because look, I just want to grab you. Please, please. I can't. <laughs> that was the biggest in your face moment ever. But oh well, it happens, I guess. It happens to the best of us. So we got one bucket of water. I need one more and then I can make the infinite water source. So let's do that. And then I will never need to do this again. Geronimo. And can I get back up quickly? I don't want to use my portal charges. Actually, I might as well. I didn't go that far. So I'll throw a new orange one down. We're back. And let's dig ourselves an infinite water source. We'll do it. We'll do it up top, I guess, for now. Even though it probably makes more sense to not do it up top. I'm going to do it anyways. Come at me. Come at me. And we'll just put it right, put it right here. There we go. And one, and I'll tidy this up later. I know it's gonna look kind of bad with the dirt there, but it's gonna hold it over for now. It's okay, it's okay. And now I will drop back down into the pit of doom after I take a look at my beautiful armor stands. Oh, I love those so much. That is so cool. Pass my ladies and Geronimo. Oh no, he didn't eat. I might die, I might die. He's looking gray, he's looking gray. Why is he looking gray? Oh, he's fine. Why is he looking gray? It's weird. Anyways, um, I don't need my bow or my, I'll keep the bow. But I need a weapon in my inventory just in case I encounter the unthinkable. There's that. I can grab that obsidian. Torches, place them down and let's get mining. Lapis for days. We need these. We need these. <gasps> so juicy. And let's see. Obsidian, come to me. I'm going to need you as well. Finish the inventory pet list at some stage soon. I know I said I was done with them, but if I'm mining here anyways, I might as well grab them. Might as well scoop. Oh, God! Oh, I got ultimate armor. It doesn't really hurt. It's just annoying. More than anything else. <laughs> oh, I don't like lava right now. I wish it wasn't so deep. Did I get that? I did. Three. You're such a jerk. I wish there was a way to just get rid of all of it. Uh, so really I'm looking for iron. That's really what I'm looking for so that I can get cages and uh, next episode get my mushroom farm going. Alright, so let's grab these bed boys. Ow. I think I found the bottom level at least. There we go. It doesn't even hurt me at all. It's just annoying. Lost another piece there. Is this going to flow into me? It is, isn't it? Well, you're all gone now. Go away forever. Nobody likes you anyways. Ah, beautiful. Now we're mining in peace, I think. Mostly, maybe. Or not at all. Thanks, Lava. You're awesome. Now you're gone. Now stay gone already. Sick of your shenanigans. 
Oh, I didn't mean to break that second block. <laughs> Dang it. All right, a little more. And there. Beautiful. How much obsidian? We have 12 pieces. I will grab 15. So 13, 14, 15. That'll do it. Now we're just on the hunt for iron. Nothing else intrigues me right now. I will leave that lava exposed and I will continue my trek for iron. And I have this fortune pick, so it auto smelts sometimes, which is nice. This is where I bumped into last time and I have some friends here that I will shoot to death because I don't have a sword with me. And what are we at? Oh, iron, perfect, perfect little bump. Ingots, 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 I don't feel like cooking. I don't feel like smelting. Give me all the ingots for days. I can always replace the blocks, I guess. Oh, more redstone. Might as well grab this while I'm here, because I don't have a lot of it, and it's used in a lot of different recipes. I know that much. All right, let's continue to explore the cave system. Oh, bonus iron. That's what I like to see. Emeralds up there too. Don't really care though. It's just the iron that I'm after. Nine pieces. I need a lot more than that because I'm gonna need to cage up at least two. At least two of the uh, mushroom cows. Hopefully. Hopefully, well, actually, only two. Only two is enough. I'll, I'll grow the family from there. I'll ignore that emerald. I don't need it. Bonus iron. All right, let's grab it. Ugh. Oh, there's tons of iron here. I'm, I Honestly, it's hilarious that iron is the resource that I lack because it's it's used heavily in a lot of things, whereas um, in most cases, ugh, get me out of the water. Let me get some, uh, some cobblestone inventory. I don't need the sheep anymore. Uh, block this off. There we go. Mine this. Because most, most recipes, when they require iron, it's like five pieces, right? And it's it's a really common resource, but the problem is when you use it so heavily, you run out. And I've not really been mining iron, that's for sure. I've been going for more important supplies. And let's pillar up a bit. Is that lapis down there? Was I seeing something? Oh, more iron. Place that, and I'll continue down this way, actually, instead of going up. Any iron? Nope, just the one. Oh, here's some more. Is it just a single slot? It is. It's all right, 27 and 16 is not a bad start. Uh, honestly, it's good enough. I'm out of here. I said, I'm out of here. There we go. Back home, put that in there so I don't accidentally delete my portals. Because I might want to go mining again soon. But uh, to make critter cages, it's really simple. It's just iron and sticks. And I actually know the recipe already. So I will go ahead and turn these all into sticks. I don't need the wood. I didn't even actually need my double chest. So I'm gonna put this dude away. Put the sheep away, put the chicken away. I don't need any of them right now. Um, actually, I'll keep the chicken with me. I'm not gonna put it in my hotbar though. Keep it with me. And let's get crafting. We're gonna do, uh, it's like this, I believe. And then iron like that. Or do I have it in the inverse? I think I do. I think it's sticks, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then I guess it's iron like this. Uh, why is this not working? Critter cage. That's, oh, there's nothing in the middle. It's just four and four. That's even better for me. That actually kind of makes sense. And you get two at a time, that's hype. All right. Beautiful. And I'll store the other four iron, six cages. And uh, let's cook up the rest of our iron as we leave here. So we have 27 more. I'll just, I'll just toss it all in there. I'm not gonna need it that urgently, so it doesn't matter if it takes a little time to cook. All right, so there's that. Um, I think we're in a great spot now. So next episode, we're gonna head over to whoever's enchanted cow farm it is, and we're gonna steal two enchanted golden apple ones, the ones that give notch apples. And uh, we're gonna come home and set up a fence for them. That's why I have these fences here and uh, we'll have ourselves a farm and we'll see if they eat wheat because I, I, I hope they do. I really hope they do. If they don't, I'll have to do some research and find out what they eat or you can let me know in the comments what they eat. That, that works too. Uh, I won't be seeing it until after I'm back from my vacation though. Uh, well, my little trip to my cottage. So it's, it's, it's still helpful and I enjoy your feedback. So let me know how, uh, how they eat and I will uh, take it to heart when I get home. So that is it. I will see you next time where we get those apple farm cows going. It's going to be brilliant. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of Crazy Craft and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.